Hello everyone to our craft archery channel and um, this is the channel where we uh, DIY stuff to our archery practice and in today's episode um, I'm gonna show you how I make a blunt a blunt arrow tips um, such as this so this is slightly a uh, long arrow tip made out of metal and, and a short one I want to say it, uh, if you're new to the channel you're very welcome subscribe and if you like the video give it a like uh, that's the best way of supporting uh, people who like me do not monetize their channel if you divide your archery practice between uh, the practice at an archery club or an open field where it's all secured and a uh, practicing at your garden uh, that is in an urban area you probably don't want to be using a pointy arrowheads and this is when doing a blunt arrowheads comes in a uh, handy of course online you can buy uh, different types of a uh, arrow heads that are blunt or made out of rubber especially those known as a uh, arrowheads for reenactment uh, shows or reenactment displays and those are okay if you're only using them for a particular show or a particular a uh, couple of days maybe just shooting it 10 times or so but if you want to uh, use reenactment rubber arrowheads as uh, your everyday archery practice you're going to run into an issue which is eventually the rubber will crack or um, become brittle and the arrow shaft will be piercing through the rubber so um, over the years I've uh, tried different uh, ways of making or replacing these rubber arrowheads that you can buy online um, this is a an example of those um, but they whenever we use any soft material if you shoot a decent a uh, poundage on your on your bow that arrow shaft is gonna make its way through the rubber so you want to find something more robust now I've tried PVC tubing, I've tried um, um, horse matting rubber, I've tried all sorts of different things and eventually those arrowheads always end up um, breaking or splitting until I came to my most recent try. So for the arrow shaft that I used which are around 10 millimeters in thickness I choose a metal tubing of a one millimeter thickness because we're going to be welding but uh, the inner circumference uh, has to approximate that of the shaft so in this case I usually go for a 10 uh, mil uh, inner diameter tubing and what we want is for the shaft to fit very snugly into the tubing so you need to apply a little bit of pressure and then we cut the length of what is going to become the arrowhead. For my purposes, I usually cut two lengths, one of 25 millimeters and one of 30. So in this video, I'll show you how I make one of uh, each of those uh, lengths. So on one of the ends of uh, the, both of these pieces, we are going to make a cut uh, as if we were cutting across. Uh, at the end so in a way that we end up with four uh, flaps since the inner circumference of my tube is 10 mil I usually cut uh, around 6 mil in with the blade as we can see here we have made four cuts at the end of the tubing in a way that we end up with a four flaps that now we proceed to to bend inwards as we are using a one mil thick uh, tubing uh, bending these flaps is relatively easy with the aid of a chisel and a hammer and just tapping it uh, gently So one thing to keep in mind when we are folding or, or bending these flaps inwards is that we don't want to overdo it. So 
a maximum of, a maximum of 90 degree it's enough uh, because we don't want the, the edge to go inside and, and hurt the shaft And as we can see here at the end, once all the flaps have been uh, folded uh, onto each other, uh, we just give it a, a final press there with the vise and there we have it, we just have uh, a blunt uh, arrow head. And for most people this would be enough, so we have two blunt arrowheads. Now the next step may be a bit of an overkill, but since I prefer shooting heavy bows, I also prefer sealing those flaps together by welding them. Since we are only using a 1mm thickness tubing, it is uh, advisable to just take your time and go step by step, not, not to rush this process, so you don't end up welding through the metal. Once we are happy with the seal we're done, we can just, uh, with the angle grinder or a belt sander, uh, smooth the surface. Uh, just to ensure our bolt ends don't have any sharp edges to them. As long as we have uh, sanded down any sharp edges, the tips should be fine. They are arrowheads, so they are going to get a uh, slight damage and scratched. We also want to remove any shorts that uh, might be in the other end of the tubing where we cut it first, uh, just to make sure that it doesn't uh, damage the shaft when we are putting those heads on. For this, I used a conic sanding stone, but any countersink a drill bit would also do the job. Just before the final touch we just give them a try see how they feel. As a final touch I like to paint them over, not strictly necessary of course since they are gonna be scratched. Having said that I still like painting them just to give them the same uh, general look. And at last we have our bold uh, arrowheads made out of metal. Uh, I really liked how they turned out. They, they feel just the right size when putting them on the shaft. Just in general I think they looked way better than the rubber counterparts. And I'd like to finish this video by showing you a wand which uh, has been shot several times. You can see there are a little bit of uh, scratches there on the tip, on the paint. But overall, this particular uh, blunt arrowhead has uh, proven to be very effective. Here, for example, I'm showing you the same uh, arrowheads which I put on a narrower or less thick uh, arrow shaft. That's why I've put the the uh, electrical tape, the red electrical tape here. You can see there are traces of paint from um, some of the targets that I've used when I practice and the damage on the shaft. Um, but these uh, heads uh, are still there. They have never fallen off. So overall, I do believe is the best option if you uh, want to practice with a uh, blunt arrow heads.